Dude, are you gonna go? Are you gonna go out with with that girl tonight? No, I don't think so. Just. Uh... I don't know, it just kind of sounds petty. A lot of things that you say sounds petty. But go ahead, enlighten me. Why are you not gonna go out with this girl? Oh man, it just... I just... I feel dumb saying it, but I just don't have like, I just don't have a good t-shirt to wear, like, you know, like, if I'm gonna go out, I wanna look good, and I've got these new, like, these now thousand mile global pants that I really wanna wear, but like, I just don't have a good t-shirt to go along with it. Do you know how many guys have the same problem? Yeah, but see, man, I just don't care about their problems, like, it doesn't affect me. And that is why people think you're arrogant. Man, that kinda hurts. Just as it does when you're a smartass to me when I'm trying to give you helpful advice. Alright, alright, I'm sorry. Just go ahead and say what you were gonna say. You're going to anyways. Alright, well I'm gonna forget you said that. But. Literally so many guys have the same problem. They order a t-shirt, or they go to Walmart, and they buy a pack of t-shirts, and they don't fit right. They don't look good, they don't fit right, they don't last. But, but, there is a company that you can trust. There is a company that you could probably tell her you're sick, order a t-shirt, it'll be here in a few days, and it's gonna look fire. Is this, is this like a Cuts commercial? Like, are you trying to be like one of those cool like YouTuber dudes that everybody sells Cuts? Dude, no. Anyways, have you seen the guys that wear Cuts? Does my body look like I could wear a Cuts t-shirt? Like, that is like chiseled mannequin look. No, this shirt is for literally any guy's body type, like any guy, and you can make it look good. All right, all right, well, go ahead and do the intro then. Thank you. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Seth. This is a minimalist closet, and today we are going to give you the one t-shirt brand that is going to make you want to throw all of your other t-shirts in the garbage. So you have to ask yourself, what makes, what makes the best shirt? What makes a shirt good? And I think that's truly up to personal opinion. However, for me, a shirt is good when it fits right. It's just, it fits like a glove. Now, I don't mean that it fits super tight because I don't think super tight shirts are flattering unless you're just completely chiseled like a mannequin and you have all those crazy abs and pecs to show off. Like, but for the most part, most guys, tight shirts don't look good. Now, baggy shirts don't look good either on anybody for any reason. A, a huge boxy baggy shirt, just leave it in the 90s, please. So for me, the qualifications are I like, I like the sleeves to be tight. I like the neckline to not be dropped like this. This is a true classic t-shirt. Like I was telling you, not very good, but I wanted to wear it to show the neck droops. There's no stretching. If I just sit here, the neck is stretched out and it stays that way. So tight sleeves, a 
good neckline. I like the chest to be tighter and the abdomen to be looser. Like I said, I'm 6'1", I'm 210. I'm not fit in the sense of I have a nice looking body. I'm not looking for sympathy, I'm just being realistic. Um, I've got a little bit of a dad bod going on and my light just died. Let's fix this real quick. Okay, so as I was saying, good sleeves, good neckline, tight in the chest, loose in the body. I like a drop cut or a curved hem, um, but it can't be too far to where it looks like you're wearing like some crazy looking dress. But it can't be too short either because then the sides of the shirt ride far up above your waistline anytime you move and it looks dumb. I also don't want a shirt that when you sit down it tucks under your butt and then you're like you're choking yourself. Like I, I want something that's natural in how it fits and how it moves with you. The material shouldn't be too thin that you can see through it. But it also can't be too heavy either because then it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to feel like you're wearing a sack. So I feel like a lot of guys maybe think the same thing about what makes a good t-shirt. And that's hard to find. Like, geez, you would think, you would think that these companies would understand that. But it doesn't seem like they do until one company came along and for me fixed everything that I wanted in a t-shirt and that was Built Basics. So this shirt right here, this shirt by Built Basics, this is what did it for me. My wife actually got me this shirt for Christmas and um, I ended up buying another one and I've got more sitting in my cart ready to buy because I'm willing to get rid of all the other shirts I have for this shirt. Now, don't get me wrong. I like my Buck Mason t-shirts. If you're a Buck Mason fan, they're great shirts. All around, they're great shirts. My only issue is I feel like they wear out incredibly fast. And I, I don't know why. They're good quality. They're a little on the thin side, which could potentially be the reason. But again, I really just feel like they wear out quicker than what they should. So I got these. Originally, last year, I bought two tank tops from Built. It was their Lux line. And looking on their website, the Lux line is more of their kind of athletic fit. Um, it's supposed to be uh, moisture wicking. It's supposed to be cool to the touch. Uh, it's a high cotton Lux blend fabric, whatever that means. And I did not like it. I actually took those shirts and donated them to the local Goodwill because I hated them. I, I did not like the material at all. The fit was fine. The material sucked. So when I got this shirt, I was a little skeptical. But immediately after taking it out of the bag, it, it was completely different. This is, oh, what line is this? They have their Lux. And then they have their, their Built Blend. So this is the Built Blend t-shirt. And it feels like regular material. It's a little bit thicker. So if you have this True Classic t-shirt, it's kind of thin. You might be able to see me through it. I don't know. But this, this is thick. I can't see anything. And I love it. It's absolutely amazing. You can see here, see if I can get a little closer. The neckline on the True Classic tees is pretty thick. Like a normal t-shirt, 
just like uh, Hanes, Fruit of the Loom, whatever. The neckline on this is a lot thinner, but you've got two rows of stitching and it's not thick. It's like the same thickness as the rest of the t-shirt. All the stitching is double row stitching. Actually, yeah, double row stitching. The sleeves feature double row stitching at the top and the bottom. Oh, don't show that. We have two cats. We have a kitten and we have a Maine Coon. And I have literally bought enough lint rollers that I should just buy stock in the lint rolling company, if that's a thing. But the sleeves kind of taper and they're not the same as the rest. So, you know, if you kind of look at the True Classic t-shirt, it's about the same, but they just don't, they don't do it as well. Um, no tag. You've got this fun little reflective material, but you can't feel it. It's, it's so minimal that you literally can't feel it. And a lot of shirts don't do that very well. They print stuff and then it comes off or they print it on and then you can, you can tell it's there because it's, it's hard. This isn't. And what I really like, you can't see it through the other side. That's a big thing. And I've got a bright light shining on this right now and you cannot see it through the other side. If we look at the bottom, this is our only logo. And I like minimal. I, you know, everything's gotta be minimal. I don't like logos. And I don't mind that. It's right at the bottom. It kinda sets off to the side. You don't ever see it. So let's see what this looks like when it's on. All right, so here you have it. The Built Basics Drop Cut T-shirt. It fits amazing. Like I said, we have tighter sleeves. We have a little bit tighter in the chest area, but it's kind of straight fit through the stomach. And then it tightens up just ever so tightly down at the bottom where the hem sets. And I love that because you have nice coverage in the front, the sides just barely hit the waistline and the back is nice. But if you lean up, it moves with you. It's almost like it has just this little bit of flare out just ever so slightly that you wouldn't notice until you move. And then it moves with you forwards, backwards, side to side. I mean, I love it. This shirt sits well, it feels nice. I've had it on to be out in the Florida heat. I've had it on on a long drive, like a five hour drive. Um, I wore it to Disneyland. So if you follow our other channel, which is Seth and Megan, we just went to Disney World and uh, hung out for the day. Had it on all day in the heat. It wore it on roller coasters, I had a backpack on, I had a chest rig on for my GoPro. Um, and it, it never stretched out. It never got like this dingy smell because I get hot and I sweat. It kind of just wicks all that away. It's it's an amazing t-shirt. And for $28, like, come on, Buck Mason shirts run at 45 bucks. So if you're dropping 45 bucks on a t-shirt, you could get two belt basic t-shirts for the price of one Buck Mason t-shirt. And I know, I know, Buck Mason, seems to be that company that you can hop on a motorcycle and go for a ride and that shirt is going to be like a vintage t-shirt it's going to make you feel just as vintage as the bike you're riding but you can't keep fixing that bike up if you're wasting 45 dollars on a t-shirt belt basics is absolutely where where it's at i highly recommend these shirts no i don't have a discount code for you because i'm not an affiliate Unfortunately, you have to be like some five-star athlete to get in on their affiliate program, um, which obviously you can tell I'm not. So I, I put my 100% backing into these shirts. I've ordered from them. You know, I've, I've learned from True Classic Tees to 
give it some time, figure out what the company's about, and then give your recommendation. And that's what I've done. I've reached out to customer service. They're super easy to work with. Um, I just, I can't say enough good things about these shirts. And this shirt paired with the Thousand Mile Global Pants makes the most comfortable outfit that you will ever wear. If you like what you're seeing on this page, head on over to Instagram, A Minimalist Closet. I'm on there as well. I don't have much content up there yet. I'm still trying to figure out which avenue I want to push harder, whether it be YouTube or Instagram. And kind of right now, I'm leaning towards YouTube just because it's, it's a little bit more familiar for me. Um, but head on over to that page, give us a follow, chat with me. If you want to see more than just clothes, maybe what a minimalist uh, skincare routine could look like um, with what brand, again, I've tested and tried over and over again and I highly recommend. Um, beard care routines, you know, anything. Just let me know in the comments down below. You guys are just as much a part of this channel as what I am, as what the clothes I'm wearing are. And without the followers, without you guys, I mean, I can't say that I would be making this content because my goal is to give you all um, recommendations so that you don't have to be the ones out here testing and researching and reaching out to companies and trying to figure out what is the best. I want to bring that to you. So hopefully one day, you know, you can take what I say as a completely honest review and base your, base your opinions on that. You won't have to go to other videos. And my cat is climbing up the screen right now on the lanai. This is why we'll never get our security deposit back on any Airbnb that we stay in. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let me know down below what content you want to see. See you guys next week.